my first or second World Cup, I was traveling and I was traveling separately from the team. But during international travel, uh, we have our weapon with us and we have to like, you know, get our special permissions and get everything sorted even at the airport. Because of some difference, communication difference, I was not told that, you know, someone would be coming to pick me up once I land. So I just went there, I took a cab and I went to the range. So now if you tell me that, you know, this is where you have to go or this is what you have to do, then do it by myself. I have that much confidence in me now. So sports teaches you a lot of skills. When you are doing Taekwondo, there are a lot of lethal skills. You have to be very competitive because the world out is very competitive. And while you are do, uh, doing any of these sports, be it skating or be it Taekwondo, I feel that you cannot be just reactive to every situation, but you have to be proactive to a lot of situations uh, while you are a manager. So I have been born and brought up in New Delhi and I have my, done my schooling from Ryan International School, Rohini. After that, I had done my B.Tech in Computer Science from IP University, Delhi. My extracurricular activities have been pertaining to the training and placement cell of the undergraduate college, the literary and managerial society of the college, and a lot of other things which actually imbibed a sense of, you know, managerial skills inside me, and that is why I landed up in IMT. I was born in Delhi and I was brought up in NCR, Ghaziabad. So I was brought up from 15 minutes away from this college. So I've done commerce in my high school and I've done arts in my undergraduation. I'm an international shooter. Since my ninth standard, I've been shooting. Uh, being an international shooter has given me a perspective that I don't think a lot of people have. And I have seen life that a lot of people hasn't. The kind of stories and the kind of life that they have lived, I've lived a completely different life. So for example, I became a part of the Indian Junior Squad in 2017. So I also had my board exam in 2017. That is the time when you know every, every person focuses on their studies and leaves everything else. I was attending a shooting camp, I was playing four matches and I was giving my board exams as well at the same time. And even the families of students who are giving boards, they are mostly like concerned during boards period, they're like you have to study. My parents were like you have to shoot well because that was the first time I was giving selection trials for international competition. So 2017 was the year I just attended the camps and 2018 was when I got selected for my first international. The entire year I was travelling. There was a time that uh, I was out for like a month or so, travelling to three countries. So that's something I don't see a lot of people having that experience. I was in my fourth standard when I started with skating in Taekwondo. I kept pursuing it because I was really feeling good when I was doing it and I had actually won a lot of accolades for my school and for the organization that I was playing for. So sports teaches you a lot of skills. Now these skills can be analytical. When you are a skater, you need to know when do you actually overcross somebody and you finish the line in the first go. When you are doing Taekwondo, there are a lot of lethal skills. So lethal skills give you competitive nature. You have to be very competitive because the world out is very competitive. And while you are do, uh, doing any of these sports, be it skating or be it taekwondo, I feel that you cannot be just reactive to every situation, but you have to be proactive to a lot of situations uh, while you are a manager because a lot of things come unprecedented. So I think that uh, these are the skills that sports gave me. I was a part of the exceptional uh, profile cohort that in IMT incepted this year. So exceptional profile has been a, like a boon for me, I would say. So exceptional profile gave me an edge uh, since I had this pointer, CV pointer of shooting in national shooter. As for that, I think this is something that should happen everywhere, I think in India. This is something, this is a culture that has already been falling in the US or the UK, in Europe. I have been away from studies, but now I want to pursue it. So my past experiences should not hinder, come into the way. They should actually help me go forward. A lot of my interviews revolved around my extracurricular activities. So starting from my internships to all the sports that I have played, all the activities that I have been a part of during my undergraduate college. The admissions team here at uh, IMT conducted a very smooth interview. There were two panelists and one of them started asking me questions while the other one was probably evaluating the same. And a lot of questions that they asked did not really revolve around uh, what I expect out of MBA, but also why do I want to do an MBA? How do I feel that I am a great fit for IMT and for the management world out there as well? So I had to really link this to 
uh, all the experiences that I have had during my school or during my undergraduate college as well. So I had done my abacus during the school times and after 8 years of doing abacus, I became a national speed genius during one of the competitions. I can do a number of calculations, mathematical calculations just in my mind and I do not need any pen or paper for it. I do not need a calculator for it. So during my undergraduation, we incepted the concept of TEDx into our college, which was happening for the very first time. It involved a lot of processes starting from licensing, taking all the authorities into line and uh, gaining all the permissions. I was a part of the sponsorship team, but I also looked at the curation team as well. So these are certain things because TEDx involves a lot of speakers coming from a lot of places. So a lot of, uh, there are a certain number of logistic issues that you go through, a uh, number of, you know, impromptu issues that come in front of you. So I feel that it gives you actually proactiveness. You actually become resilient to changes and you are very much aware of the fact that um, if anything happens, you are the person who would be liable for it. So you take on responsibilities as well. So I think that these things have also added on to my uh, journey here till IMT. My first or second World Cup, I was travelling and I was travelling separately from the team. Uh, because my match was in the last day, so I wanted more time to practice and once we go for our World Cup, we do not get practice. So I took special permission, I was in Delhi till two to three days before my match. But during international travel, uh, we have our weapon with us and we have to like, you know, get our special permissions and get everything sorted even at the airport. I asked for permission from my coach and I was, because of some difference, communication difference, I was not told that, you know, I would be, uh, that someone would be coming to pick me up once I land. So I just went there, I took a cab and I went to the range and everyone else, and because my phone was not working and I did not have Wi-Fi, everyone in the range panicked that, you know, this was the time she was supposed to land and the flight has landed, but the person who has come to pick me up did not find me. While coming back, uh, there was a form that I was supposed to carry to show it to the customs that, you know, the weapon I'm carrying is mine and I'm not, I have not bought a new one over there. So I did not have that form because I did not know. Before that, I would only travel with the team, so our coaches used to take care of that. But uh, I did not have that, I had no knowledge. So I had to take care of this, this situation by myself. So that gave me a lot of exposure. So now if you tell me that, you know, this is where you have to go or this is what you have to do, I would not doubt myself or I would not ask for a second person that, you know, could you help, with, help me. Even if I not, don't know something, I'll Google it or I'll ask someone and do it by myself. I have that much confidence in me now. I started with a competition that was a branding competition for a startup named as Menza Marketing Challenge. That is the first competition uh, and we won it, we, we stood first. That was one of the motivating factors that actually let me and my team to participate in further competitions as well. So we had a startup idea that we were trying to incept since the first day in college and uh, we won third prize there. We got a lot of valuable input from the judges as well. Uh, the judges told us to uh, you know, revisit certain parameters that we put forward in front of them and they wanted us to get into this process of revamping the entire presentation that we made. We have already started with the process, but I feel that uh, a lot of other things are going on in IMT as of now. So I feel that uh, we did not actually go about it, but what we are doing is we have actually started with the research now. The entire team, a lot of team of five people who've been involved in this uh, startup inception, I feel that everybody is now contributing some part of their day into making sure that when we pass out from uh, the college after two years, we have something in hand and probably we can work on it to build something great. I feel that when I graduate from IMT, uh, there will be a lot of things that have already been prepared and I feel that all five of us who are a part of this startup idea will contribute something major that will help us to build something great. This is something I have thought, I do not know how successful I would be hopefully I would be, that I would like to give back to the sport. You know, I have got so many things from the sport. Right now I'm pursuing MBA that I would also give credit to the sport that, you know, because of exceptional profile I could get into this college. So yes, eventually I would like to give back to the sport.